A very warm welcome, everyone. I, Dr. Ritika Dhiman, on behalf of Voice of Healthcare, thank you all for joining us today as we pay tribute to the exceptional healthcare professionals who tirelessly look after our well being day and night. Voice of Healthcare, along with our supporting partner, Apollo Hospitals, has taken an initiative to recognize National Doctors' Day through our video series, Know Your Doctor, which aims to showcase the diverse interests and passions of our esteemed doctors. On this National Doctors' Day, let us express our gratitude to these extraordinary individuals. So let's get started with the introduction. I welcome Dr. Praveen Saxena, Senior Consultant, Spine Surgery, Apollo Hospitals. Welcome, Dr. Saxena. Good afternoon. I wish you a very happy Doctor's Day. Thank you so much. Same to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so to begin with, uh, do you have any favorite quotes, mantras, or guiding principles uh, that you both apply to your personal and professional life? Yeah, well, uh, to summarize in some quote or a mantra, the entire life that I have been still living is a bit difficult. But yes, I would like to say as an essence, uh, one should try to live what we would call as a true yogi. Yogi is a person who works with dedication and passion uh, with the feeling that everything belongs to him or her. However, when it comes to renounce, or when those things are taken away, he or she does not feel the pain. That is uh, my guiding principle. So when I am working with my staff, with my people, if something goes wrong or somebody leaves or we lose someone, that pain should not get transferred to us because then we will get affected. Our ability to make the correct judgments in further treating the patients would get affected. So. A behavior of a true yogi is probably uh, the way to ensure that we do not lose our way while we are treating the patients. At the same time, maintain our own mental and physical health. I guess that would be how I would like to put it. That's a very uh, <clears throat> rightly, uh, you know, a right principle to go forward when you are treating a patient that you should have passion and compassion, but you should not get involved. Uh, your, you should not get your emotion involved so that you can make the right decision for uh, uh, the patient. So uh, are there any, uh, so we are talking about patients and uh, doctors itself so are there any specific way in which you strive to promote wellness and a healthy lifestyle among your patients and uh, your colleagues okay now lifestyle changes wellness is now the sort of buzzword if you uh, go on the internet almost everybody is talking about and people have their own fundamentals and reasons why one should be doing that so one can choose their own way of going ahead, whichever path they want to. But for me, one of my gurus has taught me, there's a very small acronym, PDF. And let me explain that. P stands for patience. So you should have patience with your colleagues, with your co-workers, with your patients. You should also have patience where you are working with in the untoward environment. That is very, very important. Work with patience. Next, I would say discipline. One of the most important hallmarks of the success of any doctor is discipline. You have to be disciplined first, set an example, and then the rest of the people who work with you will follow. Be disciplined in your approach to your patients. That is important. And finally, not the least to say, is have faith. Have faith in your God. Have faith in the medicine that you are practicing. Do not lose your way. So I guess PDF is my mantra. Yes, so uh, that's a very uh, good mnemonic. And uh, it's a very interesting uh, a way of uh, living a life. Uh, 
apart from uh, the wellness and healthy lifestyle uh, patience discipline and faith and probably i myself will also follow after listening to you <laughs> i might also follow these uh, principles that uh, you have and um, uh, so uh, my last question uh, not taking much of your time uh, what is the message that you would like to give to your fellow doctors Okay, now a lot apart has been from, uh, apart from their professional uh, yeah, uh, yeah. life so, into their personal front. Yeah. Again, uh, we have a lot of videos and a lot of uh, work is there on the internet talking about uh, how to go about their lives and everything. But when it comes to doctors, since the inception into medicine, we have been trained and groomed to take care of our patients. The amount of dedication. that we put in in the 10 years of our training is so much that that becomes our life right so my advice to my colleagues is that while you are ded- dedicating your life to your patients do not forget to take care of your own health and finances both are equally important that would be my advice to all my colleagues that's a that's a very good advice uh, because uh, all of the doctors that i have seen uh, in in these years uh, all dedicated uh, their uh, uh, you know uh, their uh, good work all dedicate their knowledge to towards their patient but there is no one who thinks uh, about taking care of themselves as well so that's a very great advice uh, dr praveen uh, so uh, with this i would like to end this interview here uh, and i would like to thank you and all the doctors who selflessly serve our nation's health uh, so uh, we together salute your dedication compassion and unwavering commitment to our health so thank you so much uh, dr praveen thank you so much for thank being you, here thank you dr ritika thank you dr ritika